Good day gentle people, it's your favorite Mr. 42. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will make a short video, but it will be damn hot. So here we are again. I was keeping tabs on the flares this evening and found this video from my unhappy mental patient Daniel Pratt. It's very normal for him to make some random statements, but today he really hit low. Let's have a look. Is inner space as absurd as outer space? Bang on at the start. Outer space is indeed absurd, if you have the mental capacity of a toddler in the middle of the no face. For those who actually understand the subject, it is all quite logical. Well yes, of course it is. Well, except that inner space you mentioned. What's that? We're constantly told, right? Something at the core of Earth creates this gravitational pull. I have literally never heard that being said before. Earth's gravity comes from all its mass. All its mass makes a combined gravitational pull. That does include the core, yes. But not just the core, everything. That glues us all to the globe and glues the earth to the sun and glues the moon to the earth. It's the heliocentric duct tape slash super glue that holds it all together, right? If you say it like that, it is a bit like your magical sky daddy. Except gravity can be tested, measured, calculated and predictions can be made from it. That's about everything your holy book cannot do. So when told this, a logically intelligent thinking person must automatically think, well, okay, there has to be something then at the absolute center attracting all of this into this perfect ball. Well, you're already very wrong about the center being the only source of gravity, so you can't be a logically intelligent thinking person. Maybe you should look into the globe model before you saying more stupid stuff. For now, I will just skip ahead to your second subject. Is it the molten core that's gluing us all to? Okay, then could you create a molten core comprised of the materials you claim to be at the core of Earth create a molten ball and let us start it watching it attract things. It's all about mass Danny boy. It being molten doesn't do much for gravity. But what exactly do you expect the scientists to do to satisfy your stupidity? Create a big metal ball 760 miles in diameter somewhere in a desert? What's the problem? I think even you can understand how that is not really an option. And it would serve no purpose either. Of course they tell us there's this molten core of 6,000 degrees or 9,000 degrees or whatever absurd number which should and, and yet Earth has a magnetic field because the Earth's core isn't magnetic but it creates a magnetic field. I'm glad you got at least something correct in your video. Hooray! Okay, once again, can you create a magnetic or a molten core of the materials you claim comprise the core of Earth and show us it creating a magnetic field in a sphere around it. Wait, you really think that I can show you a video of a big ball of molten metal spinning around for scientists to learn how exactly a magnetic field is being created? Of course you can't, because it's all nonsense. Of course I can. This is a 3 meter sphere of molten sodium. That is 12.5 tons of hot liquid metal, designed to spin at up to 4 revolutions per second. 3.95 Hertz. And at that rate, the outer surface of the sphere is moving at over 130 kilometers an hour. That's over 80 miles per hour. And basically it's representing the Earth. What they're trying to do is find out how the Earth's magnetic field is generated. And anyone that's heat treated a knife like I'm avoiding doing till I can figure out how to do it right this time and make sure I do it right should know that once I heat that to 1400 degrees approximately, 
or 20, 24 or 2600 degrees cobalt, depending on the material, how do you test when you've got it to the correct temperature? You put a magnet to it, and if it doesn't stick, then it's at the right temperature. I can't even... This is too much stupidity. Mr. Sensible, come in please. You think that Earth's magnetic field is supposed to be a giant one of these, but that is not how the Earth's magnetic field is formed. So how is this molten core five times that temperature of 1400 degrees creating some magnetic field? Here is a simple diagram of the inner and the outer core. Heat from the solid inner core goes through the outer core. It rises, cools and spreads out and then flows back down again in a cycle, transporting heat away from the hot inner core. Let's have a closer look at the boundary layer between the inner and the outer core. We can see a plume of hot material rising. More material is drawn in at the bottom from every direction. Now the Earth is a rotating body, so as the material moves, it's affected by Coriolis. And as it's moving from a wider area to a narrower area, we have the same effect as this ice skate. As the material moves into a narrower column, a faster spin is induced. And so the rising plume is in a helix. So what we have now is very hot outer core material rising in a corkscrew away from the inner core. Now, although not strictly part of the Earth's magnetic field itself, the outer core does still have certain amounts of magnetic fields within it. So in the outer core, we've got magnetic loops and very hot streams of liquid metal rising in helices and passing through those magnetic fields. Where you have metal looping around magnetic fields, you end up with a certain amount of electrical charge. Throughout all those loops in the hot outer core, you end up with lots and lots of loops of hot streaming material, each inducing more electrical charge, until you end up with electrical charge flowing round in great big loops. And what happens when you have great big loops of electrical charge? They induce magnetic fields. Great big magnetic fields. This is how the Earth's magnetic fields come to be. Can you please demonstrate in physical reality the science of this Babylonian nonsense? Of course you can't. Well, Danny, you can go to the University of Maryland just like Derek did. But I bet you will choose to stay hidden in the safety of your garage, in good company of your water heater, because you are so afraid to learn about reality. It's just another in the infinite line of quote unquote globe science they can never prove to you in reality. You just don't get it, do you? You don't. They can tell you all about the cake and how sweet and tasty it is. They can never bake the damn cake and prove it to you. I have just showed you the baked cake. It is now up to you to get off your lazy ass, go to the cake and bite into it. This cake is not a lie. That's globe science. And it is beautiful. But this is it for today. <laughs> you all have a good one. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I want to thank Mr. Sensible for letting me use his clip. Something he will find out about once he watches this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And in the description you'll find links to my Discord, Twitter and support pages. This has been Mr. 42, out. Don't panic.